Well I would say good morning chaps but it isn't morning, it's afternoon. I've spent most of the afternoon on an auction website today looking at some tables, some stainless steel worktops, some chairs, all for the new place and uh, yeah it's been a liquidation auction that's based in Hull, Thwaites Hall of Residence from the University of Hull. Uh, it would appear to have closed down or be selling some stuff off and it was a massive online auction and uh, we've been sat on that all morning managed to pick up uh, quite a few pieces of kit so tomorrow's vlog is going to consist mainly of me and Stu jumping in the van going over there putting it on the van and bringing it back we've got quite a lot of stuff so we might have to even do two runs which will be an exhausting day I think so today I've just been sort of pottering around in between auctions I pulled a sink off the wall in this kitchen area we have to sort this out it's a kitchen toilet area Jesus you wouldn't want to eat any food in here yeah so this all needs sorting out it's a real it's a real mess where all the electrics are that come into the building as well so uh, that's a a big job that needs doing but something that can just be done on a ad hoc basis while we're brewing I also uh, want to want to get out the ingredients today for uh, a batch of bitter which I'm going to do uh, so we can stick that on the bar permanently and get rid of the shiny forward not that there's anything wrong with it just no point of buying the stuff in is there so uh, yeah we've got this one fermenter so that's ready to uh, fill up this looks like it's approaching the end of fermentation now the test batch with the Ella hop so we might be actually putting some dry hops in there at some point today we'll go up and have a look at if it's bubbling still I think it's uh, still going strong yeah so you can see that is the blonde ale or the vacant if you like and that one whilst it is bubbling it's uh, it's only when I release the pressure so I think that's getting close to being ready to be ramped up for a diacetyl rest that's the next job for that I think so I'll probably pull out a sample this morning have a little slurpy taste of her see what she tastes like and uh, yeah take a reading with a hydrometer see if we're any closer to terminal ground which is about 10.06 10.07 I reckon Right, well, I'm just waiting for Davy Boy to turn up. He's got a mate who's setting up a bar in his house and uh, he's had a few problems getting it working. So I'm going to nip up there with Dave and we're going to get it working for him. And uh, well, it's half past five now, so I've done a little bit of painting, put some uh, heat sink paste on the solid state relays, and now it's just a case of. Uh, going up there and be wrapping up the vlog it's going to be quite a short one but before I go I'll show you what we're going to come pick up tomorrow so we've been on this auction on bidspotter.co.uk and you might think a few of these things are a little bit out there but uh, we need to dress the new venue for the brew shed it's a lot bigger so we need to get a lot of stuff as cheap as pos really and uh, this auction just dropped right so uh, have a look at what we've got so I'm hoping you can see this it's a little bit difficult to not get the light reflected on it but you'll see what we've actually bought so we've got a piano look what we paid for it a friggin pound yes a friggin pound so that is gonna go into the brew shed and then we've got a computer and a desk seven pound 
a little catering trolley for me when on a brew day to move little stuff around, little bits and bobs around. A pound. Stainless steel and alley fitted prep table with a can opener and a sin unit. I don't know what a sin unit is, but I think it's all of that stainless steel around there. Five quid. Two stainless steel jugs, seven quid. Plastic jugs and trays, seven quid. Wooden trays, pound. Well, I thought we'd get them for the pub, if nothing else. And then we spent a little bit of money on some of these tables. This is an oak five foot rectory table, 70 quid. We managed to get two of those. There's another oak one, slightly different. Thicker top actually, and cheaper, 35 quid. Wet floor sign and uh, kick step, could do with one, 10 quid. I paid 12 pounds for a mobile stainless steel washer trolley and trays. Now these trays, there's three there, they're at least 20 quid on eBay. Here we go again, two more trays and another trolley, 14 quid. Four pool cues, four pounds, and yes, another piano for three freaking quid man a piano for three quid so my idea with this was well, Stuart's idea actually we have one piano the best one sat on the side for people to tinker about on and then the second piano we take to pieces and we put the parts around it almost like a game of thrones throne you get me i think it'll be cool another table 18 quid got this one at a bargain price and it's oak and then what we went for the chairs so 55 quid for these four faux leather fireside chairs there I think they look quite nice and uh, we got another four there as well for 55 and then these three for 45 so that concludes the auction so we will of course see these things in the flesh tomorrow when we've picked them up I'm excited to see what we've actually got out of some of the lots that are a little bit shady in terms of descriptions but I've spent nothing more than like 10 quid on any risky lots so uh, yeah I'm excited uh, it was a crazy auction there were full bedroom suites going for less than a pound you know because it's obviously a halls of residence that's been closed there but what we're gonna do with a double wardrobe and a single bed and a bookcase and a swivel chair and a desk for a pound bargain but uh, I'm not stepto at the minute no so uh, we only bought what I think we can actually utilize be very exciting so that's it folks we'll take you on the journey tomorrow to Hull but until then we'll wrap it up we'll see you tomorrow